everyone. It's time to eat, drink, and be merry with your hosts, Lisa and Nancy. Today's A Big Blend radio show is all about cooking chicken and figs, and we're very excited to have Ruth Milstein, author of the Gourmand Award-winning recipe book, Cooking with Love, Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine, back on the show to chat with Nancy and I and you. And uh, her recipe, uh, Chicken Legs and White Wine with Figs, is up on Blend Radio and TV.com. You can see it now there. You'll see Ruth is a, one of our experts there. And it'll also be featured in the fall issue of a Big Blend Radio and TV magazine. Also, get that at Blend Radio and TV.com. And you can keep up with everything, radio shows, get our newsletter. It comes out once a week uh, from that same website. But I also encourage you to go to Ruth Milstein dot com and she's got some great recipes and videos there as well so ruth welcome back how are you thank you how are you doing good doing good today we're in sunny yuma arizona welcoming in the fall weather you know we have all these beautiful uh, cottonwood trees along the colorado river and so you start to see the little golden leaves come out uh, up in napa where you are are you seeing the change of colors in the uh, not yet, yet. Not still yet? summer still summer Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy yeah. it while you can. I, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. said that figs are everywhere. So this is why you kind of chose this as a, a part of your, your chicken legs dish. Yes. It's still in the market. It's for a long time. It's early summer. We start mm -hmm. early summer and it's still in the market. There is the dark figs, mm -hmm. like your burgundy, and there is the yellow. For cooking, use the uh, the burgundy, the dark one because that's okay. sweeter. Oh, okay. Much sweeter. Good tip. Much sweeter. Oh. Uh, yeah, a large fig, I mean, medium to large fig, around 45 calorie. Fresh one. Oh, that's Fresh not one. so bad. Now, yeah. what happens when you Yeah, but we eat six of them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a problem. Yes. We don't eat one. No. Yeah. Well, it's better than chocolate, right? Well, I don't know. I yes. love my chocolate. It's healthier than chocolate. It's only it's healthy to eat every day, small piece. But uh, figs, it's, uh, I mean, for short, I would say even for short time. It's really food that it's for a long time in the market. Mm. It's around 45 calories. You can eat as much as you want. You can eat it as, 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 a, as a meal. Yeah. Just add the salad, add a piece of chicken, fruit. Mm. I mean, it goes with everywhere. A friend of mine, she eats it with yogurt, like a like or like a yogurt is great, is mm. great. Mm. Because the sweetness and the sour from the yogurt is much mm. from heaven. Mm. Mm. She loves that. Heaven. And you know, yes. when we were in Nagadoches, Texas, in East Texas, um, a few months ago, uh, we went to this house and garden historic home. And they had like demonstration gardens and they had this big fig tree. Mm. And Nancy, everyone was going to pick the figs, you know, all ages, including the birds and the birds. <laughs> so the people and the birds were having a war over the figs. Yeah. So. Yeah, they like it because it's sweet. Mm. Mm. So what mm -hmm. happens when the figs do go off the market? Can you use this recipe if you use dry figs or? Um... Uh, dry fig, uh, two things. You have to, first of all to wash it very well because they have some white powder. It's mm -hmm. not good for us okay. to keep it more in the market. And the first week also it's tastier, but uh, soak it with water for two hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I'm just saying, if someone wants to use this. Oh um, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Now, chicken legs in white wine. So listen, I got good looking chicken legs. <laughs> it's all about good looking legs. Uh, this dish makes six to eight. So everyone, again, uh, if you go on the website, you'll see it. But now, uh, you also in this recipe, you're also pairing the figs. Um, with thyme leaves. So this seems to be an important part of the of the dish, is the thyme. Yes. Always we need some uh, thyme or rosemary or something to add. It, it adds a lot to the dish. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's a lot to the dish, yes. Now you, you also use honey. So even though figs are sweet, you still... Even if, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I use a little bit honey. A little bit honey. You can use less. I use three tablespoons because the... I had children coming, they like mm. it sweet, but you can use a little bit less, even one tablespoon is enough for six people. If okay. it's all of them adults, that's it. Now you also say in your recipe that, you know, chicken legs are 
a big part of the chicken uh, is a big deal for like chefs and people like it. So the chicken legs, we always go for the breast all the time. If you're going into the market. Yeah, we go for the breast to eat it, but to cook it, chicken legs is easier. It's easier. Oh. And everybody likes chicken legs. Yeah. With the, uh, once you cook breast, you, you have to mix it with something. I mean, to make it tender. Mm. But the, the breast is dry, drier. Naturally, it's drier. Yes. There's no fat mm. there. You have to mix it with something. Chicken legs, it's easier for chef, for a cook at home. I mean, everybody like it. Children like it. Children just give them, we call it ice cream. See, I give them the chicken legs, only the girls, yeah. they call it ice cream. And they can <laughs> eat two or three of them. It's healthier. Yeah. I yes. see. It's I healthy. See you say that I love this part of the recipe. You say this quick and preeminent dish of chicken legs bathed in wine, mushroom and herbs yes. is wrapped in fresh figs. I love mm -hmm. the idea of being mm -hmm. bathed in wine. Nancy, would you like to be yes. bathed in wine? And I don't know if sure. you want to cook, <laughs> inside and out. I know. <laughs> sit, yeah. Sit all day long in my, my bath of wine, but you're using a, a port white wine. That's interesting because we think of port, it's port it's usually wine, dark. Yes. Because huh. the because the fault, because of that um, fault one is going great with the figs. Ah, you just, mm. we don't always see it being white wine, port, you know, we always it's think white. it's a, it's, uh, yeah. I use wine, uh, your wine. If you don't have wine, you can use the red. The red okay. is not too dark. Okay. The port is not dark. We never look at it, it's not dark. Yeah. yeah, you got the tawny port versus the other yes. one. Yeah. So you're, yeah. you're, 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 wash, you're giving your chicken a bath in the wine. Um, so what, yeah, tell us a little bit of what's the first thing to do. So you're actually going to put the honey on the chicken first, right? Yeah. To rub it with honey, okay. to rub it with honey, to cut it all off the side and after to add with the olive oil, onion, mushroom, garlic, and the herbs okay. and to season it as much as you want with the, with the black pepper, a little bit mm. salt. They need the salt. Mm. Absolutely. Because it's sweet. Yeah, you need to balance yeah, it out. You can bake it. You can bake it. Mm. Uh, you can bake it. You know what? I did it three times. One time I cooked it. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Yes, delicious. I just want to try how it's come. Delicious. But mm. not with a lot of water. Very little water. Water mm. you always can, you can add. Very little water. So the sauce is so... The sauce is great. Mm -hmm. it's and great. that's where the wine is. The wine and the figs yeah. are going yeah. together. Yeah. So the that's figs, separate. The sweet, the sweet of the wine and the sweet, sweet from the figs when it's mixed with the herbs, mm. it's really good. It's really mm. good. So, so the next day, if something left over, it's good. Mm. It's oh, good. that's good. That's good. And I just, on the chicken, are you keeping this um, with skin on? Because I know a lot of times you want to take the skin off of things. I, of I, I cook it with the skin. Oh, I, I made it with the skin, but uh, when I eat it, I take the skin off. Because of the fat? Skin. Because of the fat? Yes. Yeah. Because the fat under the skin is the most dangerous fat that we can eat. Hmm. The fat. Yeah. Even most of the fat already melted when you bake it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so this seems pretty easy. Like for a mom to make, you know, a busy mom, this is something that would be kind of an easy thing to do? Yeah. It's easy. You can double it. You can double it. You can stay in the fridge for a few days. Mm. And it looks like yes. you could, you said yeah. serve it with salad? It's, uh, no, I said you can double it, double the oh. recipe, and, mm -hmm. and you can cook it halfway mm -hmm. and finish it, and let's say you cook it in the middle of the week, finish it the, the halfway, the second one, eat it in the weekend. Okay, okay, I yeah. see what you mean. Yeah. So you, you yeah. cook it, you say preheated oven, 400 degree oven for 40 minutes until it yeah. goes like red and yes. brown. Mm. Yeah, yes, just check it because the uh, chicken legs in those different uh, sizes. Mm. Yeah. That, that's the thing. How do you know when chicken is done? Because you can overdo it. You know, remember that restaurant, Nancy, we went to that business meeting. I took it. And it was all I, raw. I turn, it, turn it to the other side and slice it with the, um, uh, with knife and see. Because chicken, you have to eat cooked. Yes. It's yeah. not me. Yeah. You can't Still have salmonella. Pink. Yeah, you can't yeah. have pink chicken. No, it's not no, good. no, no, no. No blood, no pink. Not with no. chicken. No, no, no that's mm. not good. Now, mm. at, after you, if you've got a, a couple legs that are left over, um, can you 
use them to mix this? Yeah, could you use them as a salad? I mean, as a sandwich or something? Yes. And, and use it you that way? Yes, yeah, you can yeah, just slice it with it with the salad the next day, next mm -hmm. two days, yeah. Yes. I think it might be really good, like almost like go Asian with it because of the sweetness. You because know the sweetness and all yeah. the herbs and already it's observed. Mm, sounds good. All the spice, yes. When you serve this, um, you say in your, res uh, your recipe that kids will love this because it's sweet, you know, but to do a, a colorful salad or mashed potatoes, you say mashed potatoes goes well. Mashed potatoes for children. They don't want salad for children. Mashed potatoes, <laughs> give them mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah, but make sure they behave themselves with the mashed potatoes, right, they will. Nancy? They will. They will. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they Nancy will. is with her they mashed will. potatoes, you know, <laughs> if you get in trouble. Should it's start fun. throwing throwing them at the table. You know, you got to behave yourself. Those <laughs> smashed potatoes. So for you though, it's salad for the adults. Uh, so for the adult, if it, if the children eat it, they will mm -hmm. get some prices. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And the uh, mashed potato is good. Potato mm -hmm. is healthy. Depends how much you eat. Potato mm -hmm. is yeah. very healthy, especially with the skin. Yeah. The skin is more, it's healthier than the potato. Mm, I, like baked potato. I like baked potatoes. I like baked potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that would baked be good. Potato, yeah. yeah. Just if you wash properly, it's great. And you said in here too, you got some great pairing tips from Howard. And Howard knows his wine. He knows his beer. He knows his spirits. Yes. Um, he's an expert on that. And I was reading, I'm like, oh, Howard got in on this. I could, I can tell. Um, so he's, he was going you know, because I thought automatically it would be wine, which he did talk about. Is it Marsan? I don't know how to pronounce this. You know how I am on French. Um, Marsan. Marsan. Okay, it's so a white wine yes. in, from Provence, he says. But, yes, because it's French, yes. Marsan, mm -hmm. But then he got into lagers and a stout, a pale ale, a stout, and a dark lager. Uh, yeah, with beer, uh, because there is wine in the mm. dish, right with beer. Really? Mm. Also good. Yeah, it's also good. That's interesting. Very good. Yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have thought good. just stick with wine, but it, I, who knew? You know? Yeah, I tried with beer also. Because I tried it. I cooked it three times. I tried it one time with beer. Delicious. Oh, man. Cool. That's good yeah. to know. That, especially for the fall, you know. A yeah. good beer. Mm -hmm. It's beer season, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice time of year mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. everyone's got to try this. This is going to be yeah. good. So chicken, that's a good time to get into that too for this time before we get into turkey season. Would you try this with turkey? Uh, with turkey, yeah, with turkey breast, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, with turkey so. breast, yes, um, yes. Not with turkey leg, but with turkey breast, I make it tender. Yes. Mm. Yeah, turkey legs are it too tender. big. <laughs> yeah, too big. too big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with breast. It will be very tender. Mm. Yeah, that might be a nice mm. Thanksgiving dish because too. Because the sweet and the wine together, it's going to be very. Yeah, I will try it. I will mm. try it. Mm. Mm. And that sounds good. And quick question: You yeah. say to use the red, purple onions, right? So, do you prefer using those compared to the white ones, or do you use white onions? Uh, depends the dish. Thing? Depends oh. the dish. For this dish, once you go with sweet, use always the red because the red is sweeter. Okay. Mm. That's and it I looks understand. nicer. Mm -hmm. And it's better for you. If it's got yes. color, it's better. So, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Especially in purple. Purple yeah, is yeah. good for us. I like nice. that. That's what we eat. That's what mm -hmm. we eat. So, you know, uh, ha ha Howard and Ruth, everybody, uh, assign Nancy and I on a Love Your Parks tour. As many of you know, we travel the country full time on a quest to visit all of our parks, whether a national park or a small community park, a state park, regional park, doesn't matter. It's about these public spaces that we get to enjoy. And Ruth and Howard sent us on this mission possible story assignment on our tour to find family picnic sites. We have found so many in the last three, four months. Uh, we've actually now, since we started our tour a few years back, even though we took a little break, uh, done over 170 parks. 170, which is a lot of parks. Good for you. It's crazy, yeah. right? It's a um, lot of picnics with a lot of wine. So yeah, the rest of this year, <laughs> Nancy and I are hard at work uh, putting them all up on a map, all the parks, uh, but we're also creating a special map for Ruth and Howard with um, all the different picnic spots we found. And it is pretty amazing when you think about 
eating outdoors, you know, we have lake views, mountain views, some of the most it's significant geological sites. Uh, we went places like Chaco Culture National Historical Park, where you could see the old, uh, the ruins of where the ceremonial sites of the ancestral people in their pueblos were. And you can eat there. We sat eating our sandwiches, but not picnic, overlooking these ancient sites. So when you think about eating, there's something about going to your community park, which is awesome. Get outside, be part of the community, be part of nature, be outdoors. Uh, you know, kids can play soccer, or volleyball, whatever. So that's really healthy. But Ruth, we've really discovered that it changes the way you are in a park when you are eating in some of these historical places. You start to feel like, what was it like in the 1400s, in the 800s? You know, when you think about it, how ancient these places are, you start to wonder what it was like to harvest your vegetables if you had a farm, if you're, you know, the ancient peoples, depending on where you were. But it makes you really change because you stop and slow down. You get to change your, your perspective of the park and place you're in um, changes quite a bit. So it's been a really good I think a very good exercise for us and, and I can't wait for people to do more of it, you know, when you go out to places like that. So it makes you appreciate more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Everything in the nature, it's different. When you eat, when you eat in the nature, it's different. Mm -hmm. Appetite is different. Yes. Or, yeah. The, and uh, and if, it feels that everything is fresh, not only the air, the food is fresh, the air is fresh, everything is fresh. Mm, it's true. We, um, the yeah. one story, everybody, it's out right now. You can see it in nationalparktraveling.com. Uh, you can also see it. At, it's in the recent issue of Parks and Travel Magazine. It was our story about Rocky Mountain National Park. <clears throat> Nancy and I drove from Greeley, Colorado. And the night before, the coffee shop, uh, it's, it's a really good place. Uh, they, they loaded us up, Ruth, with these big, thick sandwiches, cookies, and... <laughs> chips and you know all kinds of good stuff right uh they naturally were good. yeah they were naturally. Really good. we eat more in the air yeah the open yeah we eat more yeah. and when we went up we did this trip it was the highest paved isn't it the highest paved road nancy trail yes. ridge road in the country and we crossed uh -huh. the continental divide we went and started it was sunny beautiful we we're looking at elk eating at the bottom part where the glaciers all melted we started driving up we got to over 12,813 feet up in the snow. And there was snow fields, like really where there would normally be grass was just all snow. And then we went down. And, and you know, I'm not good with heights, but your, your change of added altitude, Nancy, right? Nancy, you, you enjoyed that drive, didn't you? <laughs> I like looking down at the big old cliffs and thinking, well, I hope she can drive straight because... Yeah. We don't want to go down, but it's a long the, way down. The but first, it's pretty, and, it, and the altitude just seems to make you a little wobbly on the legs there. Yeah. When we've got out How are you breathing when you're up? Yeah. You're breathing normal or you heavy? Yeah. Heavy, heavier because, heavy, you, uh -huh. because heavy. it's less mm -hmm. oxygen. So I started, I, getting, I started getting the giggles right at the top. Nancy's uh -huh. looking down a cliff going, this is not the time for laughter. Now, you know, you know, <laughs> you know how we get the giggles, even on shows and things. And yeah. Nancy was like, you will not be giggling here now. Because she could tell it was the altitude. Was we can giggle there. down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> giggle all the way down. <laughs> but when we got, we finally found a uh, picnic spot. The first one we went to was snowed in. It was, I think it was Lake uh -huh. Irene, I think, Nancy. Lake uh -huh. Isabel, Lake Irene. And we were like, well, we're not sitting in that. It's all covered in snow. But by the time we got down to the bottom, it was all sunshine, beautiful meadows, forests. And we were at the top of what the Colorado River is. And here today, we're at our hotel headquarters in Yuma at the Coronado Motor Hotel. I'll give everyone a shout out here. And we're at the lower part. We're at the end of the river, that, the American portion, I should say, because it goes into Mexico. So we've mm -hmm. had a picnic at the top and the bottom of the river now. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool it is. You know, to have that. But you do get hungrier when you have yes. that kind of experience. You eat more. And we did have our wine in the park, and it was really good. We needed the wine. So when yes. you have high But you walk a lot. You, walk, yes. you have to eat more. You walk a lot. Exactly. Exactly. In parks, yeah. you walk. You And yeah. later, we had cookies. We stopped at other little picnic spots and had cookies. Sugar is good in altitude. 
<laughs> right, Nancy? <laughs> no. I didn't know that. Well, I, no. <laughs> it felt good. The chocolate chip cookies I went really good. well. <laughs> it was very good. It was very good. But we were thinking you all the way. It was so much fun. You know, the picnic spot was good. And we found a cooler that folds down, Ruth. Because you know how we don't, tra you know, we travel in a car. We're like the RAV4. So it yeah. folds. It folds all the way down so we don't have to have a big cooler in the car. It just folds and you unfold it when you want to use it. And it will keep food oh. up. For like it's 36 really cool. hours. We just did a trip. We drove for 36 hours and it kept our sandwiches cold from Colorado to Yuma, Arizona for 36 hours. Because we did a lot. Oh, Colorado is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. it's, yeah, we've had picnics in the swamp. We've <laughs> we've in Louisiana. Um, you know, Louisiana is all fried food, Ruth. <laughs> it's all fried food. I was yep. like, it's, I know. Hanukkah year, it's Hanukkah year round, right? It's Hanukkah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, yeah, we had to do a lot, a lot of, a lot of hiking when we were out there, and that was really, really beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful trip so far. But but they move a lot. That's the reason they're not fat people. They move all the time, all the time on the move. Yeah, that's it. You gotta move. Yeah. You gotta move. Yeah. And not have as much wine as we do, because that helps too. <laughs> <laughs> too much wine can give you a belly, and, and apparently we that's had a lot of wine when we were done with the mountain pass. <laughs> we had a lot of wine. That was good. But we had to, you know, cheer ourselves on. And, but it's really beautiful. Colorado is beautiful. You're right. You're right. But hopefully we'll get up to your neck of the woods next year. I'm always hoping that we got to get up and do the California coastline again, and we'll see how that goes. But. Uh, lots of places to go, Ruth. Lots of places, a lot of picnics. That's our living room for the day. But so thanks for sending us on, on that assignment. So far, so good. A lot of, oh, lot of places. A lot of great. places. You talk Thank soon. You. Talk soon. Yes, you and take have care. A, get a great time. And eat a lot of figs. It's healthy. It's full of vitamin. It's uh, still in the market. You can eat it fresh. Mm -hmm. You can eat it. You can stuff it. <laughs> there it is. Stuff it. Can you yes. freeze them? That's what I was going to ask. Yes, uh, yes, you can freeze them. You can okay. freeze them, but after you don't eat them, uh, you don't eat them as a, you have to cook them or do something with them. This going recipe. to be soggy. Yeah, going to be soggy. You can use it for this recipe. Everyone, again, yes. Ruth's recipe is up on blendradioandtv.com. Just type in Ruth and you'll see uh, various recipes from her past interviews. And also, uh, you know, the holiday season is coming. So I really it's recommend it. It's coming. People. Yeah, the new year. New Year's it's, coming. It's it's mm -hmm. here. So check it out, everyone. Uh, Cooking with Love ventures into the new Israeli cuisine. It is out now. So many great recipes. Great gift as well because it's out now. It's in second printing. Uh, it's a hardcover issue. It's beautiful. You can get it on Amazon. And Ruth is still working away on that book, that second book, right? I finished the book. The publisher want to hold it. He said it's still there. Not, uh, people is not in the bookstores. Well, they need you to want get to their butts it. out it's there. It's finished. It's finished. Oh, okay. cool, though. So, it's almost. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So, everyone, get your butts to the bookstore. <laughs> so, Ruth yeah. can publish her second book. That's how it's got to work. Uh, of course, yeah. keep up with Ruth at ruthmilstein.com. And keep up with Big Blend Radio if you just go to bigblendradio.com. We air Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Uh, our episodes go live then in multiple platforms, Blog Talk, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Spreaker, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, Google, you name it, it's all there. So keep up with us there. Uh, best thing to do again is to sign up for our weekly newsletter. You either get the issues of our digital magazines, Big Blend Radio and TV Magazine and Parks and Travel Magazine, or you'll get up updated recipes, interviews, articles. So check it out there. Thanks so much, Ruth. You take care. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having me. Oh, it's good. Thank yeah, you. Show yeah, me, to you. You show me the United States, you know? Yes. Yeah, cool. Beautiful. Yes, and I love it. And I love it.